guys, welcome to my bedroom floor. I don't think I've ever done a Sephora haul this way, but I just got done filming my Bath and Body Works semi-annual sale haul and I was sitting on the floor and I was like, you know what, I have a couple of Sephora products that I'd like to share with you guys. I did do a little bit of shopping for my birthday. So my birthday was this past week or whenever this video goes up, it was recent. And I treated myself to a few things from Sephora. So we're gonna go through what I got. It's really nothing too crazy, but there is some exciting stuff in here. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing I picked up, ooh, the box is open, is by Patrick Ta. I was really excited when I saw this sneak peeked on uh, Trend Mood, I think it was. Actually, I talked about this in my like anti-haul products I want video. I don't know what's going to go up first, this one or that one, but I was really intrigued by this one. So this is the Patrick Ta Four Eyes Major Dimension Eyeshadow Palette. It's his first eyeshadow palette. I am obsessed with his blushes. As you guys know, they are my favorite blushes, like, I think ever. So I was really hoping that the eyeshadow palette would have a very similar formula, and I would like it just as much. Plus, it's neutral colors, which, hello. <laughs> We all know I'm a neutral girl. I think lots of us are neutral girls out there. So this is just like the perfect, it seems like it's gonna be the perfect palette. The packaging is really cute, it's rose gold. And what's super unique about it is there's cream shadows in this too. So there's two, I'm trying not to blind you guys with the window behind or in front of me. There's two cream shadows right here and it has this little plastic door that goes over it to protect the cream shadow so that powder doesn't get into them. I think that's so cool. He did the same thing with his blush duos. So um, yeah, I haven't dug into this yet. I was kind of thinking about filming a specific like first impressions video. Um, if that's something you guys would be interested in. I know a lot of people have already done that so it's kind of like, well, who cares about my opinion at this point. Uh, but let me know. If that's something you guys would like to see, it was a little bit of a pricey palette, so it's definitely something if you're considering buying it, you probably want to see a few people's opinions on it. So that's the first thing that I got. The next thing I got is one of the new Pat McGrath Divine Blushes. I was super excited about these two. Uh, there's a couple more colors that I would love to get, but I stuck with just one. I bought the color Blus Blush Flirtatious, which is the like nude, I think it's described as like a nude mauve or something like that, a dusty mauve, which is typical for me. The packaging is a little bit difficult to open, uh, or maybe I'm just opening it wrong, but every time I've tried to open it, it's like kind of hard to open, but here's what it looks like. It's the perfect blush color for me. It's definitely that like nude rose mauve. There's no shimmer, no glitter. I mean, it's definitely just a matte blush. I know some of the blushes in this line do have shimmer and glitter in it, but this one doesn't. And the embossment on it is so pretty. It's like roses, and I just think it's beautiful. So this is the first, is this the first, uh, second non-lip product that I've gotten from Pat McGrath. So I have a mascara that was sent to me in PR. I have a bunch of her lip products, but I think this is the first, like, I don't have any of her eyeshadows. I'm not too sure, but... I'm pretty excited to have it. The box is really cute too. I mean, I'll throw away the box eventually, but uh, these were pretty pricey as well, so I'll probably wait until the next Sephora sale before I, you know, buy any more of those. And then as far as my online purchase goes, I also got my birthday gift, which I was kind of unimpressed with the selections they had this year. Um, I picked up the NARS Laguna kit, which looks like it comes with a miniature NARS Laguna, which makes sense and then maybe like a miniature lip balm of some sort. Yeah, this is one of the, I actually do like these, but I don't love this color, um, the like balm lipstick things. Okay, two more things for my online order. So the next thing I picked up is the Fenty Beauty Bright Fix Eye Brightener. I think these are described as brightener concealers, but the box just says eye brightener. I picked up the color Crepe. I was torn between Crepe, and then there's one that's lighter that I think would have done well for my skin tone too. Uh, but this one, I don't know, it just seemed like it would suit me a little bit better as far as the swatches went online. Looking at it, I do think it's going to work pretty well. Um, I love products like this. They're just lightweight concealers for your eyes. They brighten while they conceal. It reminds me a lot, at least it's described very similarly, to like the Maybelline. You remember those like twist up Maybelline ones? Re Rewind, I think is what it was where like you can wear them as a concealer but they're more of a brightener you can lay your concealer on top if you want you can just you can work with it a little bit so i don't know i love fenty beauty products and 
I don't know that I've had a new concealer in a really long time. The packaging is very unique. There's like a big bulb, which makes sense because you can use it to like blend into your under eyes. So I'm sure that was done with purpose. And yeah, I think this color will work really well for me. It's a little bit on the darker side, but it'll definitely brighten up those under eyes for me. And it's a thin consistency and there is a little bit of opacity to it too. So I don't know, I'm, I'm anxious to start playing with it. Okay, and I did actually buy another, so this is the last thing I bought online. It's the Patrick Ta eyeliners, or eyeliner that goes with the palette. They came out at the same time. So I bought one color online and I ended up buying a second color in store when I went in store for my birthday. So the color I bought online was Rich Brown, which is described as, I think it's described as a warm chocolate brown, if I remember correctly. Uh, these are, I mean, that's the color eyeliner that I absolutely love. That's the color eyeliner that I'm wearing today. It's just, I love brown eyeliners. So these are twist-up eyeliners, which I think is pretty cool. You don't need to bust out the sharpener. Once you twist them up, you can twist them back down, which is important to note because not all eyeliners allow you to twist down once you twist up. And the packaging is so pretty. It matches the palette. It's that pretty like rose gold, so I got rich brown, and then when I went in store, you can swatch things now, at least here in Charlotte, you can swatch things now. So I swatched this one, it's beautiful, I'll swatch it for you guys. It's a nice, like, chocolate, rich brown is a beautiful way to describe it. So it's right there, they're creamy, but once they set, they set, and then they're not gonna move. Um, so I haven't worn it on my eyes yet, but as far as on your hand, the swatch lasted for like three days on my hands. And I wash my hands with soap quite frequently, <laughs> so I was shocked that it lasted so long. I had to use makeup remover to get it off. Um, anyways, in store I swatched Deep Bronze right next to it. So they have a black, these two brown colors, and then a cream color. So I was curious to know the difference between the two browns, like why was there two browns in the line? That seems a little odd. You'd think he'd come out with like a purple or a blue or something like that. Why two browns? So the one that I got online, I'm getting them mixed up now. Rich brown is completely matte. There's no sparkle. There's no glitter. It's just that dark, rich, chocolate, warm brown. Deep bronze has sparkle in it. So it has, it's nothing crazy. It's not glittery. It's not going to get glitter in your eyes or chunk out on you. But there's definitely, oh, I don't like that. It kind of fell out there. There's definitely a little bit of like metallic, I would call it sparkle, uh, shimmer. There's just an iridescence to it. And it's definitely more on the neutral side. So if you prefer neutral browns instead of warm browns, then I think you would like the, what is it called again? <laughs> deep bronze color. I keep wanting to call it deep metallic. I don't know. Uh, they're very similar, you guys. Like, I don't think you need both of them in your life. I wanted both of them because I am such a huge brown eyeliner fan and I could definitely see myself using both of them um, for different reasons. So that's why I picked them both up, but you definitely don't need both of them. Like don't feel like you need to get both of them, get one or the other. If I had to recommend one, I would probably recommend the rich brown, so the matte one without the sparkle because it's a little bit more versatile, a little bit more wearable. Uh, but if you like a little bit of sparkle, then you'll like the bronze one. Okay, the last thing I got was definitely inspired by Samantha March. The morning before I went to the mall, I was watching one of her videos um, as I was getting ready. And she talked about like a couple of powders. She was comparing the Charlotte Tilbury powder to the Dior powder. I honestly had never really even heard. Ooh, hope I didn't just flash you guys. I'm wearing a dress on the floor. Um, I had really never even heard of the Dior powder before, but she was like, I love this powder. It's better than the Charlotte Tilbury powder. So I was like, whoa, I feel like I need that powder in my life. So this is the Dior Backstage Powder No Powder. Now, I will warn you guys, in store, they only have select colors. They do not have the full color range available. So I was looking at a different color online that I wanted to buy, and then in store, it wasn't there. So I had to settle for a color that might not work for me. Um, if it doesn't work for me, I will definitely be returning it because holy cow, this was a very expensive powder. It was like $45. Actually, my receipt is right here. My husband about fainted for two products. It was like 70 bucks. Okay, it was $40, yeah. So that and then the eyeliner is $26. So my total was $70 and he was like, Whew. see, this is why I never go to Sephora with you, but 
it was my birthday. <laughs> so anyways, this is supposed to be a magical perfecting translucent powder with a little bit of color to it, which then I'm like, why are they calling it translucent? Like, but whatever. Um, it's supposed to help mattify your skin. It's great for under your eyes. It's great for all over your face. It's just, people love it. So I was like, well, I need to get on board with that. Here's what it looks like. Um, this is the color, uh, zero N. So this is the lightest color that they have. And actually looking at it, I do think it probably, it probably is the best color for me. The color I was looking at online was a little bit darker, which I think probably would have been too dark. Um, I actually kind of wish they had one a little bit lighter. Oh, there's a scent to it. It has like a fresh scent to it. Um, it's very cute. It has Dior like embossed all over the powder. Uh, the packaging is a little bit cheap to me for $40. I would much prefer like a black plastic case with a mirror. Although I never use mirrors in little compacts like this, but I just, I just want the mirror because it makes me feel like I'm getting more for my money. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I'm a little bit underwhelmed with like the clear plastic packaging. It just seems very cheap to me, but that's not what matters. It's the powder that matters. So we'll see how it goes. But, um, if you guys have used this, before let me know what your thoughts are i did also get like a freebie online uh, i think this was like a free gift with purchase type thing so it's the givenchy uh what is this called rose perfecto <laughs> it's like the balmy lipstick i love balmy lipsticks oh cute okay for a free gift this is nice packaging it has like leather Wow. Oh, okay. So it's one of those, like, it adjusts to the pH in your skin. Very strong scent, which is typical for a Givenchy. Oh, yeah. So this is one of those. Can you see? It goes on kind of sheer, but then it'll adjust with the pH of your skin, so it might turn really red, or it might stay kind of pink. It just depends. Can you see it? Anyways, it's a little mini guy. So I thought I'd throw that in there too. All right, guys. Well, those are the Sephora goodies that I have picked up recently. I will have every product linked in my description box down below if you want to check it out and purchase them for yourself. But other than that, that's about it. Making sure I didn't forget anything. Nope, I didn't. Thank you so much for watching, and uh, I will talk to you next time.